Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 55 in chapter 10. In this chapter, we talk about rotational motion. So you can see in this system, we have a ball of mass and a radius R1 is given. And then it rotates along this AB axis with the distance R0. Agree? And in the first one, we consider the mass of the ball to be concentrated at the center of the mass. What does that mean? It means we don't need to consider the size and the shape of this ball, right? We just consider it as a simple point. So for a simple point, the momentum of a ratio must be zero. So we can calculate the momentum of a ratio about the axis. See, the, the initial. So first thing, we consider it as a point, and its mass is m. The moment of a ratio is this mass times the distance r not square, right? This one, do you agree? And we don't need to consider this both momentum of the ratio. The second one, we use the power axis theorem to consider the finite radius of the ball and calculate the momentum of a ratio. So second time we can see in this one, we need to consider the momentum of the a ratio for this ball at the center of the mass for this one, right? This is ICM and the distance from the rotation axis to the center of mass is R0. So with the first part is the momentum of a ratio for this ball. This one you can check it on the test book. This one, the from the rotation axis to the center of mass, the distance is R not square. So we added it together, it is there. The next one, we need to find the percentage error. So percentage error is we use A. This is the approximate momentum of A ratio minus the IB, this one, right? So the momentum of A ratio in the B and divided by the exactly momentum of A ratio in B. And then input is the known quantity inside we can get the final answer is negative 35%. Thank you.